Guys, give me if I kill that bird. Barbara, that's a bald eagle. Get away, baldy! Yeah! Oh, this is the word with Mike, Pete, and Steve Gubbs Radio.com. We are live here at AC Beer Fest. We got Tom, we got Nick with us today. They you might know them from 2018's AC Beer Fest. But now we got the full crew in action. I'm finally here. Thank you very much, Pete, for joining us. <laughs> I was Steve. I wasn't even. Wasn't around. even in the, in the band <laughs> at that point. I can drink more now. You can drink more. Well, yes. Did you drink less last time? I, I, I was coasting, man. Ah, well, yeah. you, you probably should start coasting now. <laughs> yeah. We have a long night to go, and the beer has to start flowing. We are live on Baderfield in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Glad to be here at the Hopped Up Network tent. Where several podcasts are uh, laid out and ready to go. Podcast row over here. Podcast row. We got the uh, media tent. Podcast alley. Alley. And uh, we got some uh, breweries around us. We got some uh, connections throughout the weekend. I want you guys to hang out and take a look at everything that's going on um, that we're going to show you throughout the weekend. And, of course, hear some of the great interviews with our breweries. Uh, Special guests. Bands. Artists. All sorts of fun stuff we have planned for today. We have two full days of doing this shit, so it's going to be quite the marathon. As we get drunker and drunker, we oh, also God. get sexier and sexier. Yeah. So keep that in mind as you listen and dumber watch. And dumber. Yeah. Well, that's that might be. Watch yeah. the transformation. Yes. Watch the transformation. Just skip to the, the end and then come back to this point. And <laughs> <laughs> go to the last fifteen minutes and see how it went. He really doesn't have far to go. Though. No. 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 Yeah, no. What are you yeah, talking Transformation's about? almost complete. He's, he's three <laughs> edible gummies away from <laughs> <laughs> from drooling under the table. <laughs> well, we have comfy. If chairs. I don't get something to eat, that's sooner always, than that. Yeah. Do you need? Yeah. Did you? Not yet. Yes. You need to go eat. That's that's the biggest problem. And there's plenty of food here. There's not yet. Not yet, there's not. Yet. Yeah, everyone's oh, getting they're all gonna be set up and yeah. settled in. Getting yeah. that propane fired up. Oh, uh, there we, we go. The generator's rocking. Yep. We uh, saw some friends from the uh, 2019 Beer Fest on the way in. Oh, who saw you see? Backward Flag on the way in. Oh, you did see Tor- yes. Tori? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we saw uh, Rob from... Um, uh, ta- 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 Tuckahoe. 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 Oh, again. So many people that we... Thank God that you guys... Uh, yeah, great big time. Thank God you got you wrote that right up because I would have to go back through and figure out what the hell I wanted to do with all those people and whether we're gonna have some or not. And it was funny because I said, well, Tucker was great, um, but let's get some new people on there. And then of course, you know, he's right here while we're setting up, and it was perfect. So it was awesome. We'll have him on. Uh, breweries that we're looking forward to, guys. Steve, what did you see so far that you're uh, anxious to go see? Uh, well, it's always uh, good to see some of the guys that we've already spoken with. Mm. South 40's here. Mm, yes. So, really can't wait You know, see what they've been up to since the last time we talked with them. Yep. Uh, but, you know, some of the big guys are here, like Founders. We, we passed by their big tent. And, uh, right by they the got concert. that breakfast out, Mike. You were, do they? Remember oh. that we used to pound? Uh, well, Long that was Island, Long Island. And Long Island is here, too. Yes. Maybe them? we'll see yes. if they, do they have their breakfast out. Any Hopefully. ideas? Hopefully. Mm. And even the big, bigger names. Yeah. I saw Guinness and Blue Point on the way in. Sure. Blue Point. Hopefully, we could get some of the guys from Blue Point since they're right around in our Did neighborhood. Did you see the boat? I didn't see the boat yet. I did not see the boat. Different right. logo. We didn't even know. I questioned yep. them if it was yep. the same company. But Rebranded. there's a threes Rebrand. here. There's a threes here that's not affiliated with the one it's in three Brooklyn. three threes. Oh, it's yes, three threes. threes. Three ah. threes. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to go out and do some scouting. I thought it was a Jersey branch because they opened the Huntington branch. Yes, recently. they have two now. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to get up there. Yeah, it's good. They, yeah. they have good beer. Looks nice. Always, always very happy with that. Um, Pete, what do you, what do you highly anticipate? I, I want to talk to Red Tank. Yeah, we had them on the show uh, a few yeah. years back. Yeah, uh, and their beer always looks good. And, and, and going with that, Ross is right here. Yes, I saw them. They're right. The down guys there. from the Ross. We're going to talk to them from Ross Brewing. 
Uh, Tom, what did you get 2018 looking to get again this year? Uh, well, I definitely recall Icarus being present back then. I don't think they're going to be here they this go around. Here, no. um, but honestly, I'm just looking to expand my palate because I'm, I'm trying to find a real good taste. So honestly, I'm, I'm open to, to anything and everything. We'll find you around. some beer flavored beer, Tom. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, what I'd like. that's the goal. We stopped at Kane on the way here today. Oh, oh, yeah. So good. Peter had the uh, Belgian uh, blonde. I, that yeah, is oh, beer God, flavored a beer. Single. It was delicious. That Very was dry. Good. Exactly so what you're looking for. So good. Nick, what are you looking forward to? Uh, I don't know. Everything. <laughs> raw. <laughs> yeah, well, the raw, raw, raw is here. The raw tent is here. I want to check them is out. Really? Get some glass paint. Something. Really? They yeah, got, something. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. Yeah, and then uh, what is it? Rogue. Do they do that, uh, the co- the brown? Do Dead they do guy. that hazelnut brown? Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. they have a brown. Are now. they known for that brown? Yes. That nutty brown? It's like a, yeah, yeah, I'm looking it. forward to see if they have that. That's it's not like Newcastle. No, nut old school no, no, commercial. No, no. Old school uh, commercial yeah. nutty brown. What was it called? I, think I forgot I what it was, I, but it's a yeah, nutty brown. I'm a big fan of Dead Guy. They're Maybach. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I just had that recently. In the can. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. They are, Delicious. Now look that up. They, are, they are famous for a brown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like Newcastle is known for theirs, yep. and then Rogue too. They are there. I forgot the name of it. Everyone knows it. Everyone's had it. But yeah, Rogue Dead Guy was a big one. But you're right. They, there's yep. definitely a brown in there. The Dead Guy isn't that brown. Pete will do with the fact brown? checking for yeah. you. Isn't that the brown? The Dead Guy? Isn't that no. a hazelnut, hazelnut brown, brown nectar? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. The hazelnut, hazelnut brown, brown, brown nectar. Yeah, there it is. That yeah. one. Oh, I remember seeing That's, that. Yeah, that was yeah, dope. Yeah. That's always for sure. Good. I've heard all about it, but it's nice to see the brew bag live in person. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get that out there and going. We got the brew bag. I'm excited for that. We want to, of course, recognize our sponsors that brought us here uh, this weekend. We want to thank... Uh, right, you want to take away with Rosie Draft Solutions? Uh, Might as well get it out of the way right now. See, now I got to get, I gotta get uh, my right. cheat sheet out. Let's Go, talk about Beer, beer Maker. maker. Yes. Beer Maker. We have now all brewed our uh, our beer on our countertop all-green brewing system. Mm-hmm. Uh, the most recent one, I haven't tried the Jurassic Ale you made yep. recently, but Delicious. I had the, the Kulch, which was fucking great. Yeah. I really liked it. Smelled amazing. Mm. It was super easy to use. Uh, it really takes like 15, 20 minutes to get it set up. Yeah, and really then another, easy. and then another five minutes to, to you know hop, uh, add your hops and your yeah. yeast, and uh, then like a week or ten days later, there's fucking fresh made beer <laughs> right on your counter. Beer flavored beer. It's awesome, and and yes, beer flavored beer. Yeah. And <laughs> the so ingredients bottle, were made by fellow beer maker owners. Yeah, well, the they guy ship we had you an one. ingredient kit, yep. uh, which has uh, all your grains that you you dump in this uh, nice little basket that's dishwasher safe, cool, convenient, convenient. Uh, you add a pre measured amount of water. Uh, and that's it. And you hit a fucking button on your phone, and then it starts brewing. It heats it up to um, 172. Uh, pa- yeah, pasteurization temperature, is so that, it kills anything. Is that in the there. wart at that point? What, then that yes, the once it gets heated up, it's wort. We need. We don't have any sound effects. No, we no don't sound know. effects. That, that's needed. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then uh, a, a couple days later, you you know, uh, once it get up, gets up the temp, it stays there for a little bit. Pitch your yeast, add your hops, close it back up, uh, heats it back up. Yep. Uh, then it crashes it down and uh, it stays there for about a week, and then then you have beer. It's awesome. It's pretty cool. And and then you, you can get racket, and we put in some uh, some hand grenade. It brews bottles. into these like uh, bags. into bags, yeah. so everything's self-contained. Everything's um, it's very hard. You have to be really trying to introduce uh, bacteria or anything bad into it. Yep. Uh, so it's really cl- yeah. easy to keep everything sanitary. That they was do, they was do before. things very well. Yeah. yeah. So go uh, very to, well thought out to beer. Maker B E E R M K R dot com, or go to our Instagram, find the, uh, I guess the link in our link tree, and of course it takes you right to the page in which you can then enter in Wart twenty twenty one, I believe. And was our promo? Up, code. They were featured on Shark Tank. They were featured on Shark Tank. They didn't get a deal. They didn't get a deal, but, but they, they were uh, complimented they, on the beer. They sure were, and it is good beer. It's yeah, definitely delicious. I was really happy with the culture. Yeah, for that sure. Was good. The, the wheat you made was was yep. very good. Yep. Good so stuff. Type in War 2021 and receive 10% off your order of your beer maker or even any of your ingredient packs. So now, Stephen, you're uh, ready with Rosie's Draft yes. Solutions. Rosie's Draft Solutions. Rosie's Draft Solution is a Long Island family owned business that provides professional draft beer, system services, line cleanings, and maintenance. I'm going to stop you. That sounded awesome. Because the mic is smooth. Smooth. It's so oh, smooth. You stop so smooth. <laughs> and now I got to suck on over again. <laughs> I, well, you <laughs> fucked me up 70 times at the bar entry guy. Wow. All right, so Rosie Jeffs. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We the silky okay. smooth go. Okay, still smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie Draft Solutions is a Long Island family-owned business that provides professional draft beer system services, line cleanings, maintenance, and draft beer line system installs, uh, along with event dispensing solutions and more. 
uh, they are very passionate about the craft beer that uh, they are. And you see what you did to me now, and yeah, I man, fucked it all up. Italian. But they're very passionate about uh, craft beer and, and how it's made, and that it is poured just the way it was poured in the brewery. That's right. And the only way to do that, make sure those lines are perfectly clean. Clean them lines. Clean them. Um, uh, Rosie's uh, services bars, restaurants, halls, and events, and all other beverage beverage establishments, including Ooh. home kegerator systems. That's right, kids. Okay. Uh, the systems uh, that they service are W.A. Meatworks, 1940s Brewing, Blue Point, Darling, Marich's Field, Hop Winds, and, of course, our buddies over at Hopscotch Bottle Shop. Shout out to them this weekend. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I'm so jealous that we were down. Tom, you picked up some shit from uh, Mark oh, yeah. and Hopscotch. Got a- Got a variety of yeah. uh, got like sixteen different beers. I appreciate that, but I don't think we're going to get to that this week. No. So <laughs> what's what's the, what's the promo Fucking code for beer. Rosies? Well, with Rosies, if you want to reach out to them, you can get them at Rosies Draft Solutions at gmail dot com, or give them a call six three one two one nine two zero seven five Monday through Sunday nine a.m. to eight p.m. Mm. Just tell them the, the wart sent you and get a little ten percent discount. Boom. Mm. Rosie Draft Solutions. Tell Nick uh, the word sent you. Uh, finally, we are sponsored by VintageBeerShirtClub.com. VintageBeerShirtClub.com for your vintage beer shirts. And, of course, I know our featured sponsor for this weekend is our buddies Scott over at Brewbag. 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 We brought our brew bag. We're going to be playing it. I'm going to have a camera set up probably behind me after we're done here. And I'll have the second camera on behind us. And you guys can kind of watch us throughout the week and uh, weekend, rather, and play some Brewbag. Of course, if you want your brew bag, go ahead and uh, go to our Instagram, go over our link tree, and go right to the site that takes you to our discount site. Or you can type in the prom- promo code the wart, all one word, and get a nice little percentage off your brew bag. And uh, they make custom full wraps now. We're going to get a yeah. second bag. We might actually give away that one. I don't think we all really need one at this I'd point. I'd like one. I have one. And he has one. So <laughs> I'd like one. Okay, so then you're going to get yours, and I'll get mine. And what's in the brew bag? The brew bag, it's, it's, it's like cornhole beer- but beer pong. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cornhole butt beer pong? You'll see. We'll Cornhole be able to Cornhole butt beer pong. Six holes instead of one. Okay. So you drink, you cover up the hole. It's, it's like beer pong. It's like but beer with pong. cornhole. Right. Or it's cornhole like beer pong. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Let's <laughs> we'll put see. It, it's dis- no more edibles, and then you can figure it out. Let's put it this way. You're going to put your bag in the hole. Yeah, we'll either way, <laughs> you win. I will probably be very disinterested. I, it'll be, I'll be a spectator. Okay. I'll probably just find like some it. good beers and what, stand back and watch the crazy Now, what do, we, what do we have going on over there? Oh, hold there? on. We have one more sponsor. It looks oh, like BrewersHardware.com. Brewers yeah, my yeah, BrewersHardware.com. For your uh, small capacity or large capacities, go to BrewersHardware.com and type in the promo code WART, W-O-R-T, to receive your percentage off your order. Brewers Hardware. Thanks uh, to, I think his name's Andrew, I believe, for uh, Brewers Hardware for sending us some stuff out and uh, for continuing giving us gifts to we hand back to the brewers as guests on our show. So we're excited to have all the uh, sponsors have our backs. We'll put it that way. Yes, yeah. That uh, really help us out and and make this show possible throughout a given year. So thank you to them. And uh, I want to say thank you to you guys for making uh, year two of this uh, awesome. Yeah. I see some clouds rolling in, so maybe next time we go on air. Uh, it's going to be dark and rainy, or we might actually uh, skirt this. We'll see what happens. So we're hoping for the best. And that then, Danny of course, DeVito flag, though, is, is looking <laughs> great for flat. mayor. Yes. For, for governor. Governor. That's fantastic. But yeah, so anyway, I walk in guy. there. I stop blasting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a wipeout <laughs> course that's being assembled. Is it wipeout? It, it appears to be. So. It looks oh. like it's either there's that or I noticed laser tag or something. There's there. giant ah. cornhole down further. I saw that. And yeah. there's um, some sort of inflatable horse, horse race. race. Yep. Yep. Oh, I've it's seen that. It's not going to end well. We got concrete pavement. Well, I, I hope they were smart. I mean, that's what makes it interesting, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> a skin knee means you've won. Yes. <laughs> Everyone wins with a skin knee. So uh, everyone stick right there throughout the uh, podcast. We'll probably break this up into two parts, I'm thinking, because we're in two days. So join us here for the first part of uh, AC Beer Fest 2021 right here at Atlantic City, New Jersey, live at Bader Field throughout the weekend. Um, and we'll uh, come at you also on some social media and some Instagrams and stuff like that throughout the weekend. And you'll hear this podcast aired in a week or so. All right, so we're with Mike, Pete, and Steve. We'll be right back after this. Govs Radio. <laughs> this is the worst on Govs Radio. Hi, this is the word with Mike, Pete, and Steve. GovsRadio.com. Live here at AC Beer Fest. We weathered the storm. The rain came through. Steve's taking pictures, as you can see. And uh, it's beautiful now. We've got some uh, oh, beers in us, finally. Now that the rain has passed. 
And we have Joe from Forgotten Boardwalk Brewing Company. Oh, you got that right, brother. I, I know. <laughs> Love see, it. See, I, I've had enough it beer. It only took four takes. Shh. <laughs> it didn't take any takes. You dick. Uh, Joe, how are you, man? Thanks I'm, a lot for joining us. I'm doing well. Thanks for having awesome. me on. Yeah, dude, I, I really uh, appreciate you coming on. And I'm excited because we're outdoors. Um, this is one of the first festivals that I know of in the East Coast. Yeah, post-COVID. Post-COVID yeah. well, festivals. During COVID. Are we still Tail in COVID? Tail end of COVID. Sure, we can, we can say Tail end of COVID. Well, they're getting rid of masks in, uh, in, schools, in schools now, right? So they say. I think it's pretty much there. And we're, yeah. Anyway, Get hi, Joe. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> uh, Joe, uh, Forgotten Boardwalk, tell us a little bit about the brewery. Uh, give us a little background as much as you can, and then uh, tell us a little bit about you know how you got to be where you guys are today. Sure. Um, so the brewery is owned by uh, Jamie Quilly. She uh, opened the brewery about six years ago um, with Seth Dahl. The two of them have uh, been owners there. Okay. Um, gone through a few brewers. Uh, I'm really excited right now. I think we have um, an amazing brewer working with us, and um, we've been putting out a lot of new stuff. Cool. Um, you can pretty much find Forgotten Boardwalk in in every liquor store in in the state of New Jersey. Awesome, really, um, just great. Just uh, just distributed in New Jersey, uh, but you can pretty much find it anywhere. We're also in a lot of bars, and uh, not not really hard to find us. I, have you guys been trying to expand beyond the Jersey area into like the Northeast of, or like Pennsylvania, New York area? Right now, I don't think that's the plan. Um, I think just uh, sticking with New Jersey for now. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's going well. Nice. Um, so where are you guys located? Where's the Where's the tap room? Where's the brewery? Where's so the brewery is located in Cherry Hill. Okay. Uh, so uh, more southern New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, where's the next Where's the next biggest town city area? Is it closer to Philly or is it? Uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. you can get to Philly within ten minutes. Oh, okay. So anyone go. who's in Philly wants to come <laughs> over to New Jersey. <laughs> come on, get in. some good beer. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you guys have been open and operating for how long? About six years. Wow. Okay. And were you here at the 2019 uh, AC Beer Fest? I was. This is my seventh year. Jesus. Oh, wow. uh, coming here either. You are a veteran. I've been here either as an employee or a volunteer. Or just, oh, so, so. You, you know the festival well. Yeah. Fan of the uh, the music lineups every year? Oh, so. every year, absolutely. Yeah. So what's your favorite to this weekend? Um, I am partial I'm to the... <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, honestly, every single band on the yeah, lineup, right. I pretty much, you know, in, like in flames. Is this in flames? Play? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, no. I, I grew up listening to like the emo pop punk. There you go, bro. Oh, there you go. That's, so, that's us here, right? Yeah. So this will probably be my thirtieth time seeing less than Jake. I, nice. I as well. <laughs> you ready for my experiences, really quick? These guys. Well, he'll, he'll just close it out. Uh, I saw him on a boat uh, going around New York City. Nice. They play with the... Was it a tugboat? Shh. Messing, messengers. <laughs> messengers. I messengers. 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 Uh, that was fucking coolest show ever. Yeah. You get on a boat and then you just around Liberty Island and come back up the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. It was awesome. Uh, another show was 1997 Warp Tour. Uh, I met them at their booth. They signed a shirt from my buddy and I, only if my buddy would strip down to his underwear and dance around a tree. <laughs> they made him do it. They signed it. And, and on the back of the shirt, it's like, nice cock. You know, we love the, the way it, <laughs> That I, sounds like something that band has people absolutely. do. Absolutely. That's, that's their <laughs> M.O. at this point. But that's, you know, I grew up with them. That's been yeah. my, you know, 25 years, whatever, listening to them. Wait a minute. What are they going to make us do? I don't know. Oh, Man, sh- they let me tell you how drink. quick I'll say no to <laughs> well, anything of the sort. That's fine. You don't have to. But we will. I'll do whatever they tell me to do. Go I'm right ahead. I, uh, I only got into Knuckle Puck uh, within the last few years. Mm-hmm. Previous album, not the one that just dropped, but the previous album, excellent album. Um, early November 1998. Yeah, yeah, and good drive through records was was my go to. Everything drive through put out, I listened to like a fanboy I was. Fun fact: I'm in the early November's last music video. Get out! Get here. the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> For what was it, in Currents or the one of the current albums? Uh, the album that came out probably two years ago at this point. Yeah, so that's probably the most recent. Like four or five. Yeah. How'd you get that? Yeah. So I mean, they're from Hamilton. Yeah, um, yeah. For, and he's so got the uh, the lumber yard. Yep. Buddy of mine recorded there. He said, "Freaking Ace is the best." So. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, they posted on, like, Instagram one day and saying, hey, we're recording a music video tomorrow. Anyone who wants to come out, show up at this place at this time. And yeah. I took off work and went. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. You yeah. made the cut and everything. Yeah. Awesome. And I, I'm a big Suicide Machines fan. Yeah. Big Suicide. I mean, same thing. Uh, death by destru- uh, Destruction by definition. Oh. Uh, I always say death by, I don't know why, because it's Suicide Machines, right? Um, face but that to was face. Face to face. Fucking yep. played that live album. 
guy, so 1997, right, that came out, played that live album until it broke in my CD player. It actually is, is the thing still stuck in that CD player somewhere. Um, going surfing every day, going out, you know, whatever it was. It was from start to finish that I, I sold. And then even some of the newest albums uh, I really like. It's, uh, it went back to the roots mm -hmm. uh, after a couple albums. So it, it's another one. It's just the lineup was sick this year. I would have loved to see Goldfinger, right, Steve? Oh, my God. Oh. When I was, we saw I was the lineup, more than disappointed. Oh, like, yes. Newfound Glory. Newfound Glory. And well, for me, Goldfinger. Goldfinger. I, I was just Goldfinger. like. And, I'm, I'm done right there. Right, done. I, that would that would have been. I, I I'm disappointed in that, but very good substitutions for me because Less Than Jake is number one for me across the board. Growing up, everything. The number one. I have posters and so everything. Just I have socks. I have fucking socks <laughs> from Less Than Jake. So it's one of those ones that it, it's exciting. What uh what have you noticed over those years that you've been to this in one way, shape, or form? Has it changed besides this year? Obviously, we're outside. <laughs> you know, going back to the convention center and Sheridan and all that. Um. You know, I feel like it does grow every year, and it's in the same place. But uh, you know, there's more more attractions and fun stuff to do every year um, over when, in the convention center. And uh, you know, the, the the team over there, John, they do a really good job of yeah. finding new cool things and you know, new food and just everything um, to make it more exciting every year to get people to come back. So um, I'm always happy to come back, not just as someone who's working with a brewery and likes to drink craft beer, but it's just an exciting place to be. Yeah. It's a fun, it's fun, fun way. I always look at it as kicking off the summer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, it was sure. supposed to be in April, right? Yeah. And we're like, oh, all right, April. And then they're like, August. And we're like, all right, well, we can end the summer that way. Yeah. And then like April again, I'm like, nope, we're going to do June. All right, cool. I'll, I'll work with it. And it's perfect. Yeah, exactly that. It's perfect night, perfect weekend. It's going to be awesome. What are you guys pouring at your tent uh, this, this weekend? It. Break it out. You got yeah. it on there, buddy. I know you I do. Got, I got Let me open up the sheet. notes app. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, though. All right. Preparedness, so Joe. That's what you got to have. That's it. Well, we're pouring two beers. Usually we'll, we'll come, you know, deep with like six beers or so. But we're trying to keep it simple. We're yeah. outside this year and, you know, small crew with us. Um, but the first beer we brought was the Aviators Club, uh, which is really cool. It's a wild IPA. Ooh, um, hmm. So some folks who are IPA fans might get excited about it. It's a, it's a little tart, so uh, you know most people will drink it and think it's like a sour beer. It, it is sour. It's a little tart. Um, it's really delicious. It's a great summer beer. Yeah. Um, mm, I love a good sour. IPA. Yeah. It's 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 tropical. Uh, you know the the owners. Um, you know, when they first described it to me, they compared it to like a fruit cup or an orange sour patch kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I definitely, uh, I definitely get that. Once I tried it, I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Citrus notes in there, yep. all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. With a little so, bit of that tartness. Yep. So that's the first beer that we brought. Okay. Uh, the second beer we brought is actually a take on our flagship beer. We come out with this. Uh, we've come out with this a few times. Uh, I think this year it came out the best, but um, it is our Mexican coffee funnel cake. All right. um, <laughs> yeah, so so it's a take on our our flagship beer, our funnel cake, which is our cream ale. Cool. Uh, but this one is brewed with cold brewed coffee, uh, vanilla, cinnamon, brown sugar, um, and a blend of spicy peppers. Oh, oh cool. yeah. We're gonna follow him back to his deck. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, didn't need, I need to try that immediately. Yeah, so I need you, to try both of those. So you definitely get the coffee in there. Um, you definitely get the the, the hint, the subtle uh, pepperiness. Okay. Uh, it's not spicy in any way. I think sometimes it scares people off. Sure. I think it is delicious. I drink that stuff constantly. It's easily crushable. Mm. It doesn't sound like it would be, but yeah. you can yeah. drink thin a lot to the point of it. where you can kind of. Yeah. yeah, it's not a thick. You know, and, no. and, and the base is a cream ale. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Interesting. Yep. And that's what makes it crushable, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's easy to drink. That's it's awesome. yeah. It's nice. Um, so you guys are going to be pouring here all weekend. Do you have any other variations? You just have a shit ton of both of those two things. Yeah, those are the two beers we're pouring for okay. the weekend. Um, you know, uh, the brewery right now is is have some events going on at the brewery for the weekend. Oh, so, all right, yeah, it makes sense. So yeah. the owners and the rest of the crew stuck back. Uh, they're doing a celebration for Pride this weekend. Oh, cool. And just, oh, cool. Uh, there you go. And we yeah. actually just put out um, a new beer for that um, with glasses and, and new merch and stuff like that. Oh, so. Cool. I know they're having fun starting that off tonight. Um, but, yeah, a lot of new stuff. As I said, we got a new brewer a couple months ago, yeah. and we're just putting new stuff out constantly. So anyone who's been to the brewery five years ago, three years ago, last year, if they come there now, it's going to be a completely new experience. We have a lot of new stuff. Um, any given day you walk in the brewery, we have 
probably about 18 beers on tap. Nice. nice. So we, we've got a good amount right now. Besides the one you just mentioned, what was your favorite that's on the board back at the uh, at home base? I'm partial to um, our barrel-aged Gravity Road. Yeah, you are. Jesus, uh, <laughs> Gravity Road sounds in a barrel. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a good fan of, of uh, you know, a nice dark porter or stout in Gravity Road, um, barrel-aged, um, you know, really good. Uh, I think it clocks at like 11 percent ABV. Oof, yeah. Um, Put the hurt nice. on. <laughs> yeah, not not you know some it's it's not syrupy. It's not like a thick stout, but it's uh, you know you definitely get a lot of bourbon, vanilla notes. It's it's really good. So that one usually uh, I know it's like summertime now, but I've still been training. No, it, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Produ- yeah, one of our producers, Nick, he is in stout and porter mode. And yep. I'm like, dude, that's the time to get out of stout and porter mode. Nope, he's like, the summer is stouts and porters. So yep. people still got to produce them. Yeah. Because you definitely have a lot of people like us that still love a good stout or porter mm-hmm. by the fire at night, right? Just yep. a nice smoked porter or the something. The first beer I had today... Was the Firestone. Was the Firestone <laughs> freaking vintage. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so what the hell, you yeah. know? Let's, let's if, keep it going. I'm, I'm uh, all, You know me, I'm all for that. Uh, you, you guys are... What would you say is there's so many breweries that you know you'll see breweries that they they do a hell of a lot of IPAs and hazies and you know East Coast stuff. Well, they'll, they'll do a lot of West Coast stuff or you know big on stouts, you know pastry stouts. It's just from what you guys brought just to two. It seems like you really kind of just you're going to give everybody a taste of something different each beer that they get. Yeah, I think the I think the strong suit of our brewery is definitely the variety. Um, you're going to go there every time. There's going to be different stuff. Awesome. Um, you know, you go to some breweries, and I and I love these breweries too, sure. but, you know, it's just, you know, 10 hazy IPAs yes. on tap. Yep. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we, we see it all the time. Yeah. Here's four hazies, here's four sours, yep. and, you know. Ain't nothing yep. wrong with a good hazy, but still, you, yeah. you want the variation. Yeah, and, you know, I definitely go to those places all the time, sure, too. Sure, we all it depends do. what mood I'm <laughs> in. <laughs> we're all, we'll but, still go uh, back to our fanboy days of hazy IPAs. We're a bunch of haze boys as it is. But yeah. we need the variation. We need the, yeah. the porters to offset a lot of that. And, yep. yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun here on the on the weekend. I want you to give us the uh, the big plug for Forgotten Boardwalk. I want you to talk to us about, you know, how people get in touch uh, and social media stuff and all that other contact in. Yeah, we're, we're down in Cherry Hill. Um, you know, definitely check us out if you're in South Jersey. Uh, really easy to get to down 295, Route 70. Um, you know, again, 10 minutes from Philadelphia. If you want a variety of beer, we're the place to come. There's always <laughs> going to be something on tap that you're going to like. 18 taps, baby. 18 taps um, is by good the, variety, By the sure. way, two of those usually, and we do can pours too if we don't have something on tap we have a bunch of cans sometimes that oh, we wow. pour uh we make two seltzers we were the first brewery really? in the state of new jersey to make seltzer did you have a special license for that or no uh that i cannot answer mm, that's all right <laughs> no, that's all right but yeah we were the first in the state uh and then we actually so a couple years two years ago uh, before covid uh, we entered a national, um, I forget what, uh, what what contest it was, but national seltzer contest, and, and we medaled oh, nice. uh, for, nice. our, for our first seltzer. So um, it's really good. So people come to the brewery, you know, somebody tags along, it's not really a big beer person. We do have seltzer too. Yeah. So, um, have you seen any seltzers out here? I haven't seen them yet. Have you seen? I haven't even gone the walk around. Oh, uh, well, Joe, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to keep you from So drinking. far, I've only seen mead. And cider. Uh, cider. I, I haven't see seen any seltzer. Yeah, I've seen some ciders. Huh. It'd be interesting. Well, I know, uh, again, um, you know, John and, and the crew here do uh, physiology in August, I think. So really? it's just seltzer. Really? So there's what? a seltzer festival. Wow. So I would know, never have imagined that. Wow. I, I, will be, I will be there pouring for Forgotten Boardwalk again. So we will, have, we will have our seltzers there as well. Awesome. Joe, we really appreciate you being with us today, taking some yeah, time out. For I don't want to keep you from drinking because we're going to go first. We're going to go back to yours. Well, I'm sure it looks busy now because people start when, to crowd in. When is the tasting room open? What hours and what days? Good question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, back to the know, video tape. <laughs> <laughs> switch over to summer hours. So that always throws me off. Oh, yes. Um, sure, yeah. But I can assure you that we're open uh, today, <laughs> Thursday through Sunday. <laughs> yeah, definitely right now, Thursday through Sunday. We open up a little bit more as the summer starts. Okay. Um, you know, and I, th- I think we're open like six days a week. Sweet. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I think four cl- right now it's like four to uh, ten mm-hmm. on okay. Fridays, Saturdays. Uh, we open at noon. Um, Sundays at noon. Uh, yeah, so I mean, 
Cool. We're, we're open. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go check out Forgotten Boardwalk uh, down in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 10 minutes outside Philadelphia area. Joe, thanks again. Appreciate Thank you. you coming yeah, thanks on. Thanks for coming yeah, on. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. This is the word with Mike Pete and Steve, GovsRadio.com, right here at AC Beer Fest on Bader Field in Atlantic City. And we'll be back after this. Govs Radio. <laughs> this is the word on Govs Radio. <laughs> Hey, this is the word with Mike, Pete, and Steve, GovsRadio.com. We are live here at AC Beer Fest. We've obviously had lots of drinks already, but it is already dark. Last time we were on the air with uh, Joe from... Uh, like like the lighting or, 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 or everyone's mood? Hidden Boardwalk? Or, 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 or yes. Yeah. Forbidden Boardwalk? Forbidden Boardwalk. It sounds like hidden. Well, it can be. It can be forbidden. Uh, I mean, if you're in New York, it's hidden because they only distribute <laughs> in New Jersey. In New Jersey, so you can't find but, they're, but, but they're in Cherry Hill, and it's only 10 minutes he away from Philly. I, I like Joe. Joe was fun. So, uh, Philly trip. So, we are yeah. live here at AC Beer Fest here on Baderfield. Uh, it is Friday night. We got a great band lined up coming up. But first, we need to talk about who we have on the show. Oh. We have our ticket winners. Contest Woo. winners. Yes. Contest winners Contest who came winners. through <laughs> and uh, listened to the show with Pecan oh, County yeah. Brewing. And, and Zane Lamprey. And, and Zane, Zane Lamprey. Lamprey. Great awesome. show with Zane. Yeah, and uh, Stephanie's here. And Stephanie. Phil. What? Hi, Phil. I know. I, I don't feed Phil. That's what I learned from Bam Marchera. <laughs> yeah. I can't feed him. I don't it's going to happen. So thank you very much, guys, for stopping by. appreciate you being here, and I'm glad that you could come down and hang out with us. Uh, yes. First, though, we need the phrase that pays. Yes. Oh, it's Aloysius. There it is. Nice. I like that. That's yeah, exactly. You, you got to have the Aloysius. You got to record you know it, though. You can't type it. No. She didn't say it. No. It has and, flavor. And she gave us the sexy voice one, too. She did. It was, yeah, yeah. It was very, like, Aloysius. Yeah. Aloysius. You can just bring the voice down a couple of voices. I feel nonsense. like that's the way I said it, though, and you that didn't is. say my voice was sexy. That is exactly no, what you said. No, yours was creepy. Aloysius. <laughs> yes. Creepy as that's how it like little kids run from you no, when you I, do that. No, well, that's not true because like I have the way you kids. said it is you're well, not allowed kids, within like 500 yards of a school. Right. Like that's <laughs> no, if little kids are listening to a beer podcast. I have to be though. on the school grounds. <laughs> I you am never a know. That's true. That's true. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys very much for hanging Thanks out. For having us. Um, right. So far, first impressions of AC Beer Fest. Have you ever been here, and have you ever experienced what's going on here tonight? Never been. Yeah. Uh, we just got here yeah. because we hit a lot of traffic through a freak thunderstorm and yeah. then couldn't check into our hotel because their system's down. Oh, nice. so, look at the system. Uh, they don't have the a thunderproof re- reservation system? Uh, apparently not. Oh, that's so, a short sighted. Uh, we're here, didn't even check in. <laughs> uh huh. It's overwhelming. There's okay. What have you had so, so far? Breweries. What have you drank so far? Um, okay, so we went to the yard, obviously. As we passed the yard, we had to like... I mean, obviously. In, I've never course. heard of them, so let's... The let's yard? The George Washington beer is at yeah, yeah, yes, the yard. Yeah, Oh, it's like famous in yeah. Philly. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yard, no, I'm, yards, from, I'm from Long Island, yes. not Philly. Yards, no, yards it's Brewing like a, it's like a makes some institution. solid. Basically. You oh, go down yeah. to um, the, 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 the Nationals ballpark, and Yards is right there. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. the Nationals is a sports Baseball team. team. Yes. Got it. Yes. Sports yes. ball. We're going to send sports you over ball. there to those guys. Sports ball. Yeah, exactly. We'll send you over there. You would be the most uh, un- oh, un- un- unimpressed person about I mean, sports ever. Now, I challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell them to put you on the show tomorrow. We'll see how far you go with your sports knowledge. Basic questions they'll ask you, and you're going to fail miserably, right? I'd, That's fine. Well, that's my bread and butter. I'm a trivia host. It. I can set it up. There you I'd go. I got a sports trivia. I would right love to go down in flames. <laughs> I do want to talk to you about that because I, we talked earlier. You guys have been communicating with the uh, Long Island Beer Club. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little bit about that because that's kind of how you guys got involved with listening to the show. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah. Appreciate um, Phil and, and Chris and everyone else for joining in, too. Yeah, so just I host trivia and bingo at Farmingdale Brew Co. So if anyone goes to Farmingdale, oh, okay. they have great oh, craft oh, beers. Missed yeah. you by a night. I, I know. It. You didn't come on Thursdays. It's Thursday night. But, well, um, we had oh, tickets to the Mets game, trivia question, and it was rained out, so we ended <laughs> up going question. there to watch the Knicks game. Oh. And we had never been there, so we're like, what all right, let's give it a shot. baseball? What? <laughs> Stop it. No, no, it's not, tr- it's not Jeopardy. No, that was a question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I get it. I get it. I see where you're actually not really realizing that there's teams in battle. Tell us a little bit about the trivia. So you guys travel around and uh, yeah, go to so places. I mean it's just me, um, and I just kind of pick oh, it's random. Just me. It's me. I host it. Um, I don't know. Apparently, people thought that I was charismatic and a know it all, and they gave me a microphone. Don't know why. Fair enough. Godspeed. Um, but they did it. And they well, we're giving you a microphone it. tonight. So this yeah, is I don't mic- know. This is like a theme. I don't. I don't get it. Godspeed, I once handed you a mic, but uh, no one's cried yet. So I guess I'm doing good. Good. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Plenty trivia, of time left. Lots of tears. Plenty of time <laughs> left. It's still early. Um, yeah, still but like early. we just had a whole collaborative of craft beer drinkers that kept coming. They were all friends, I had friends that were piecemeal, he had friends that were piecemeal, so one night yeah. after trivia, I just sat him and my friend Rich down and went, hey, want to start a beer club? They're like, yes. I'm like, I work in marketing as my day job, I can just make some stuff, and they're like, cool. And, Logo, uh, you got the backgrounds, the frames. Stickers, whole thing. Yeah. Doing a whole, uh, 
videos. We're getting to video editing. That's a new thing I've been working on. Get out of here. We're getting saucy. Stepping into <laughs> your world. Stop motion, some world. Gumby <laughs> stuff. We're getting nuts. Gumby. wears many hats. So, uh, there, so. I like it. Yeah. Many hats, yes. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a two-camera shoot tonight, plus Ooh, Instagram. Fancy. So we're, we're oh, high-tech now at Ace of Beer Fest 2021. Oh, man, I should have worn makeup. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> These lights are actually pretty terrible. I didn't anticipate not having lights in here, but we're offset by the nice warm color of those and the cool color of those. <laughs> I think we're blending pretty well. I think That's we're doing bad. well. It's not bad. Uh, so you said, yeah, you know, just first impressions coming on Baderfield. It's a lot. It's there a are so many breweries. Oh. So many. So yes. many people. But spaced out, so it's like, it's good. You know, COVID, they're yeah. doing good. Like, you know, it's no one's up each other's butts, but there is so much. Again, so and much. Tickets, time for that later. And oh. the tickets are <laughs> free. <laughs> yes. And the tickets were free. And the tickets so I'm not mad about it. Did you like the fact that they said Newfound Glory on them? I cried a little I know. Yeah, I, know. As, I as we love did. Newfound Glory. Oh, yes. Don't be wrong. The, the bands this weekend are phenomenal. Yeah. But Newfound Glory, that's special. I know, you know it's up there. Some, uh, it's probably yeah. number, it's top five for me. Yeah. yeah. Top it's five. Up there. It's definitely Less up there. Jake, uh, honestly, number one. Well, I have Always tickets for tomorrow. I bought those in the first place. Boom. Less Jake is, oh, yeah. that's, there you go. that's why I came down. And they're a band. Yeah, and they, they, yes, they are a band. They're <laughs> okay. not a sports team. <laughs> not a sports team. So you're good. You're good. Still don't know much about that area, do you? About, yeah. like, less than Can't Jake? Wait. Yes. No, I have okay, no fucking... That's right. I know they're a band. Yeah. See, last that year I, for that me... I, in a genre I don't listen to. Okay, uh, fair enough. What, well, what, what do you got on your shirt? What does that say? Up in oh, Flames. in Flames. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's a Mod Sun fan. That's what it is. He likes Mod Sun and Avril Lavigne. And yeah, he decided to wear the shirt. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah, right. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No, he's, he's into His pop music. His Avril shirt was in the wash. Yes. So yes. he wants <laughs> that. I get it. It's, you know, he is a skater boy. It's getting a little... I mean, she said see you later, boy. I know. I see <laughs> you. Who doesn't know it? It's Bill. a little ironic, don't you <laughs> think? Don't, don't you think? <laughs> that's, that's a totally different True story. <laughs> Saw her live. Yeah, well, good for you. Woodstock. Really? Really. And Jewel. Oh, my. Did she yodel? She did. Wow. Yeah, of course she did. She did. Who doesn't yodel when you can yodel? Yeah. If you have the ability. I mean, when it was When you were a real yodeler, Phil, you Phil, yodel. Phil clammed up a little bit. He's like, I yodel, but I don't want to. I think he yodels outside. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, shit, they're on Let's things. hear you yodel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yodel? Yeah, see? All right. All right. That easy. Watch out, Jewel. Watch yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. He's flying for your seat. Uh, Phil, first impressions, AC Beer Fest. Um, so this is. It's, it's a lot to take in on one service because, like, it's kind of hard to see because I'm the night there, but, like, it's just, it's nice to be out to kind of get a uh, sense of normalcy, I guess. Yeah. You know? So yeah. it's like, yep. you know, it's been. Yeah. Are you coming back tomorrow? It's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of people. So, like, a you know, lot of people. And it's probably going to be a different experience for and tonight versus day. And even oh, yeah. tomorrow when the second session starts at six or so, yeah. it's oh, wow. still going to be light for a good few hours. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. only going to be a little bit of this vibe, but. They did a great job on lighting up the place, and all the vendors had their lights. Yeah, and they told everyone to bring their lights, which we brought our lights. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> lights. compared to like other beer festivals I've been to, like it's usually been like a NASA Coliseum or like the like you know for like, local yeah. craft beers. Like this is sure. like many moons ago though, so like I can't really say for that that like you know things have changed. But like I just like the vibe of this. Like I feel like a kid in candy stores. Like where do I go first? So, like <laughs> is there a map there? It's, like in the directories? Like where do I get it? Here, 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 here. Like. It just, I feel I, so overwhelmed. There's just so many yes. places to go. There's things to do. It was hard to even look at the map because there's just so many numbers yes. on this tiny little map. You got to <laughs> sc- zoom in on the PDF. Yeah, oh yeah I'm just going just with go. vibes. I'm yeah. just going with vibes. I just, I'm just going <laughs> to just walk around in a circle and hopefully just you know hit just something land. along the way. What know, have you guys like, like so far? We haven't had that much, but yeah. Yards, that, okay, they had a French toast beer. That was yes. their newest one. Okay. It delivered. Like, they say French toast, so you get, like, just sugary, syrupy, nasty. No, this, like, delivered French toast, so huh. I was here for that. And then the Fort Nonsense, was it? Fort, Fort Nonsense. Nonsense. Oh, that's our that boy. Sour. Yeah. That's our boy. That's our boy, Andrew. Andrew. We went really, really revolutionary war. It's how we were feeling because when we, had, when like, we opened the, up. Was the, it was, the like, the, it was the acai. It had was an like, acai like, blueberry blackberry, blackberry yeah. sour. So it was like It was like delicious, like. Sours and kind of getting into sours. Yeah. When I was like, you know, yeah. there's like Berliner sours or fruited sours. Like this was like a nice balance. There's like, you can d- definitely taste the notes of like more like the blackberry and like the blueberry and stuff. And actually, just just a little little hint in the back there. Yeah. So it was like, you know, just bringing things up and nice. it's delicious. 100%. I gotta get. We gotta talk to them because they're, they're coming on the show probably later tomorrow. It's tough to get people at night. Yeah. And, yeah. and everyone's busy and everyone thinks going on. But tomorrow when things settle down, they get their groove. They'll. Yeah. Today was. Along. Put out feelers, talk to everyone, yeah. try the beer first. Yeah. Oh, so we have something to talk about because um, there are so many that we kind of Right just, here. Just like right, right next to us. I mean, mm-hmm. literally right down this row, you guys should just start with the first one and just keep moving because... We brought you to a good section one, of the park. <laughs> one after another, there is at least that one beer that you go, what the fuck is this all about? 
Well, there's one I'm hunting down, Bolero Snort. They have a Runtz Sour. They ah, made specifically yes. for this. Yes, nice. they did. So I need to go hunt that down. And so your Foreman Del Bruco uh, does the uh, Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Delicious. I had it there that night. Um, Scott was on the show in 2019 when we did the show in AC uh, at the convention center. He's not here this weekend, but they, they've done some great stuff. Set up a brand yeah. new brewery in the meantime, right before COVID. God damn it, that's got to yeah, suck. <laughs> and uh, they're distributing now a little further and further, so we're able to get it on Long Island. So yeah, it's nice. cool. awesome. Great New Jersey brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, other things that you put on your map, you definitely want to hit. What do you guys want to definitely hit? Make sure you, you visit. I don't know. It's like, it's like, yeah. I didn't even have a chance to look at like what's who's actually out here. Yeah. So, like, so like, like you know what? Like to me, I like I like the whole like the the thing of like a mystery box. Like you kind of like you go into mm -hmm. like without like any that. expectations. Yep. And like, like a box of chocolates. Like, yes, in a sense. Or That's like, you like know, a box of chocolates. Or like you know, remember those little machines? Like you put the quarters in, and like you turn the knob, you get a little prize things. Like <laughs> yeah. in those yeah. Sure. Like you know, yeah. like you know, you know those are outlawed yeah. now. They're outlawed. No, Wait, what? Oh my gosh! Don't like face now. All the hard stuff. Like, like God damn it! Oh. I want my little like uh, spider ring. <laughs> exactly. Spider <laughs> ring. I want like a tattoo. Sticky, yeah. Those sticky hands there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Those are the best. Yeah, those are the best ones. You can't exactly. with that. You leave like grease stains minutes. on the sheetrock. Oh, my mom hated me. And my mom also hated me. God damn, yeah. you left a grease stain on the sheetrock. It's a handprint on the sheetrock. <laughs> so. Kids. Um, so... You guys are coming back tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, we want to come, obviously, hang out. We got brew bags set up here. We got people coming by. Want to hear uh, the second impressions? Correct. After sure. you've done yeah. your lap and then yep. another lap tomorrow, you probably have a little more to say. We'll have you come back on, and we'll we'll get that uh, that vibe from, like we said, from the first initial to the second initial and see what happens. Yeah. Awesome. I'm very excited. And we got to come back and play brew bags because we got to yes. practice our cornhole because yes. uh, the beer club is joining the LI Kick Cornhole League for oh, the summer shit. session. Look so at that. A little shout out for that. Uh, right. they, they, really they might so need to change it to, corn, uh, to brew bag. Yeah. The brew bag is so much more challenging. Yeah. It yeah. Is. So, Got that one little hole, yeah, yeah. whatever. This but when you holes. could pick the hole you're yeah, gonna throw yeah. it into, oh. And, mm. yeah, oh yeah, change it up. And with them, they're doing it at breweries anyway, so it's kind of like that's your true. Home. Yeah. So they gotta might as well it. makes sense, right? Yeah. Team up and do it. Stephanie, Phil, appreciate it. Chris, thanks for coming on. Thanks, thanks for hitting, uh, me, Chris. So, so <laughs> from saying, uh, Chris, doing, you did a great job. Great job, Tom's in there too. Great button pushing. Yeah, unbelievable. Anything over zero things out there. Yeah, perfect. Job well done. This is the word with Mike Pete and Steve GovsRadio.com. Appreciate everyone checking us out on Instagram. We did a little feed there for this interview. We'll be uh, in a podcast form, obviously. <laughs> oh, ASMR guys. Oh. Yes, in a, in the next couple of weeks, and uh, we got a lot more to go tonight and this whole weekend. So we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Govs Radio. <laughs> this is the word on Govs Radio. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. This is The Word with Mike, Pete, and Steve, GovsRadio.com, live here at AC Beer Fest, right here on Beta yeah! Field. We've been drinking a lot tonight. Yeah. It is Friday night. Uh, our last interview of the night before the clock strikes midnight. And, uh, of course, we've been drinking all night, going around and saying what's up to everybody. We have Matt from Tom's River Brewing Company, or just brewing in general. <laughs> thanks a lot for hanging out, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm going to switch cameras real quick. So we, we, we actually have to say... Better. Um, having this tent has been awesome because you're right next door, bro. <laughs> yeah, we are. We've been just going this fucking direction all day, and every brewery along the way has been so fucking yeah. awesome. Each it's a one, good right? Uh, yeah. it, it really it is. Really is. Uh, and you're like we'll have like one or two, and then come back, and then uh, we'll have the other one that we haven't had, and, and beep up on down the line. Oh, bro, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's it's been uh, it's. Yeah, I have to say, godsend. Yeah, yeah, it's a good way. Of we could have yeah. been in a real shit area, <laughs> and I'm not gonna say where, but uh, <laughs> there are elsewhere. some. There's some out there. I see them. Yeah, not from here, but over there somewhere. Uh, the listen, uh, thanks a lot, Matt, for being on. Uh, give us a little background about uh, Tom's River Brewing and uh, back, you know, history and everything that where it came and pretty much the questions we asked everybody. So yes, it's pretty sure. much cookie cutter. But, but, but this is what we want to hear. Yeah, and we, we want, want our fans to hear. Yeah, right. All right, so uh, Tom's River Brewing is audience. in, you know, of course, yeah, fans, not hey, audience. Fan, Get yeah. it right, guys. We're not, we're not, we're not fans. <laughs> I have a fan, one. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> one fan. It's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Love the show, He's guys. Here. Happy to be here. <laughs> He's like the exactly. MySpace guy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Oh, That'll aid you. Isolate that, Tom. Yeah. Isolate it. Yeah, so Tom's River Brewing, of course, we're in uh, Tom's River, New Jersey. Uh, we've been there uh, two years on May... 15th I believe it was okay. um, previous before that there was another brewery that was there uh, Rin Doing um, they you know they for whatever reason they kind of you know went under 
and uh, it was just an opportunity for, for our president who was you know kind of looking to jump into that field and uh, he acquired the space and then we basically redid everything in there we added to it we pulled things apart uh, I came on the team about February of last year, so right as uh, the oh, world was falling timing, apart, <laughs> Good time, I was jumping time. in. Oof. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the overseer uh, operations. So <laughs> it was a little bit of baptism by fire, but it's go. it's honestly it's been a great opportunity being Very with Tom's cool. over. Are you guys off Route 17 somewhere in there, or what? Uh, What's that? Route 17. You're uh, Route 37. 37. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm, 30. I'm relatively familiar with the area, but I'm trying to think of the, the crossroads and where everything nah, is. It was a seven in it. I was going to say, you, you got the seven right. So yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get a little bit of credit. Um, you guys are pouring here tonight. Give us a little breakdown of what you guys are putting yeah, together Yeah, so uh, the four beers that we brought was uh, the At Wit's End, which is our Belgian wit. Yep. Um, yeah, that's what you guys are imbu- yeah, indulging yeah. in right now. Uh, we, we we actually use uh, two different strains of, of Belgian wit yeast to kind oh, of really? bring out a different character, in addition to also using um, uh, sweet orange peels and coriander at the end, right at the back end of the, the whirlpool. We throw the sacks in there and just let it really, and we let the whirlpool run for a little bit longer to really start pulling out some of that the flavor and that nuance that will also you know kind of play in with those. That unique uh, okay. yeast combination. I'm, cr- I'm, um, I'm crushing on you a little bit right now. <laughs> just, oh, just I bet you say, say that, that to all the boys. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Um, I'm, I'm a professional. Only the brewers with beards. Yeah. I'm a professional <laughs> brewer. <laughs> and uh, one of the beers that uh, I actually won a silver medal in uh, GABF with, exactly what you just told me, is exactly the way we brewed that beer. Really? Yeah. Uh, and so I just I had a moment. You know, from this moment, <laughs> <laughs> bro. From a distance, and and it, the beer is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Very good. It's and uh, I'm glad we're back here tomorrow because <laughs> that's where you're going to be over there. <laughs> no, I don't know how do. many times, yeah. bro. Um, yeah, this is a fantastic beer. It drinks so smoothly, yeah. and um, it was interesting when I when I came over and I actually looked at what you know, which was great. You guys give a little bit of ingredients, a sort of coriander, right. a sort of orange peel, right, and from what you just told me is exactly what I wanted to hear and uh, uh, I, I'm a little starstruck right now and uh, <laughs> I'll be tomorrow you can be right yeah, yeah. bro awesome job yeah thank you thank it's you. right in line with what you what you love to do what else you guys have uh, porn uh, next we have a uh, windy seas which is our, uh, our white IPA that's uh, what I started off my night with yeah, yeah the that's right first that's beer right. I had it's yeah. delicious so that one we, we use uh, a Belgian Again, going back to kind of the Belgian thing, uh, a Belgian ale strain, um, and we kind of pull back instead of letting go with the the temperature getting real wild. Because of course it's going to start throwing all those esters and phenols and all that, that fun brew knowledge. And all now, that are you are, are you one of the head brewers or um, I oversee operations. I'm awesome. vice president of operations. Awesome. Yeah. So yes. Um, <laughs> he's over. So yeah. All of the business. He's the dude. He's the he's dude. The dude. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so like a, the reason why we kind of pull back on the temperature a little bit, ferment usually closer to 66 to 68 on that beer, hmm. um, is to also let those uh, that hop character come out, but also keeping everything in balance. You know, keeping that, that pilsner, letting that wheat kind of show through, sure. but not too much. Everything's about balance, but while you're still allowing, you know, like I said, uh, I think what we used last time was uh, Simcoe, Mosaic, Centennial, mm. and just a touch of Falconer's oh, Flight. Oh, cool. Just to really kind of change yeah. it up a little bit. I love those and, uh, it's a Yeah. Great the, uh, the, you said you used two different yeast profiles on the, on the Belgian. Uh, on, on the wit, yeah. On the wit, yeah. Are, are you guys using liquid, using dry? Liquid. You're using, are you using yeah. White Labs? Uh, yeah, so yeah. one of them no, was white. No, because, bro, I'm I can going see down the right now. I'm going down the You're going down the rabbit hole. Uh, bro. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's White Labs is one of them, okay. and then Imperial is the other. Oh, all right. Yeah. Ooh, cool. Nice. Yeah, and we've had great success with both. And other breweries I've worked at, we I got to kind of use both. Um, white Labs, of course, is kind of the OG. Yes. Of, yeah. yes. The craft beer. World. But yeah, when you can use some, when you can use two different strains together and you see get what that hybrid, like right. again, and you can change your temperature range that you're yep. looking to do. Yeah. Um, and you get ester profiles are going to change, and and that's where you get, you know, really great flavor. Yeah. And, yeah. and it pulls certain things out that you want. 
Um, yeah, that sometimes you know you might hit it on one batch and then the next it's like oh you know, yeah. what the hell happened there. Yep. Yep. But then you know we've had really good success putting the two together in their own ratios. Um, it, you know, and, is and, this a staple? Is this something you got? We could get every time at your at the brewery. Yeah, that w- that was one that on a, the brainchild, or my brainchild, I guess you would call it. Behind it was it was in April of last year. So we're at the height of the pandemic. Everyone doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, and I was watching a lot of Twilight Zone. No. <laughs> and I came out was like at wit's end. Nice. And on the can, if you read it, it, it reads like Rod Serling's dialogue. Oh. That's <laughs> awesome, bro. That's, cool. That's awesome. Cool. So I got to nerd out in two ways. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you might as well, right? You had yeah. the, you had the opportunity. You had you the, the opportunity, and then it's been such a hit that we basically were like, well, we Hold can't really turn back now. Like, <laughs> so so we'll keep wait. it going. Keep it going. So you got the uh, the wit. You got the white IPA. White IPA. Yeah. Uh, and then we have our blueberry blondale. Ah, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna it tastes like blueberries. Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. We used a lot of blueberries in that. <laughs> I can smell it from three feet away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one was like, Ooh, wow. But uh, that was one that I was like, you know, I, I don't. Or the, the team as a whole, were like, we could really screw this up, <laughs> or we yeah. could really hit That's it. A out lot of room, yeah, man. Yeah. So we were really meticulous, like constantly pulling samples. Like, okay, research more blueberries into it. Okay. Wait, hold up. Let's Secondary? Secondary, yeah. 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 Puree or, or whole? We use both, actually, on okay. this one. Oh, yeah, because oh, wow. yeah, we did a bigger batch, so we used right, right, puree yeah. and whole. And you got to cool. watch the sugar on that, right? You yeah, really so then it, it, it's kind of watching, like, okay, we don't want to bomb in a can. <laughs> so. And we all see those. those. But, but all why not? Them. That seems to be, like, the thing to do these yeah, days. Send yeah, it apparently. Yeah. 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 in everyone's yeah. car. It's perfect. 450? Sell someone a So you guys are canning up the blue yeah. Yeah. What's that? You guys are canning it up? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and we have are you distributing right beyond now. the Jersey border? or? Uh, yeah, we actually uh, recently, in last, I guess, Six months now. Wow. Do you ship it uh, warm for IED effect? Well, I mean, nice if I want to yeah. proper IED, yes. uh, <laughs> I might put, put it under the road. Or yeah. Stick it under the rug as people walk in the brewery. Hey, man, I, I've been to the Middle East. So. Oh. <laughs> so I was there. I've seen an IED. Nice. <laughs> good, good call, Pete. Yeah, good call. <laughs> yeah, I had to bring it up. <laughs> Now you gave him an idea, so that's yeah, the next beer. You know what? The yeah, but that's gonna be the next beer. Just yeah. shower me in beer, <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell me until I stand there. Right there, you go. <laughs> Is that blueberries I smell? It's delicious. <laughs> but you are distributing outside of Jersey. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, as of right now, uh, Rockland County, New York. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. yeah. oh, cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. So we're up into there, um, and we've been really successful. Um, we actually got a great opportunity up there. Was. Uh, with the old seventy six house up in Tappan, New York, and we, ah. and they asked us to, to brew a beer for them to be the house beer. Oh, so, so that cool. was a huge opportunity. You know, yeah. getting into to Rockland's been really really exciting. Uh, new opportunities, that kind of thing. So oh, uh, definitely. A- anytime you could get your beer outside of your state, yeah, yeah, um, outside out of your, town. your community, yeah. you know, but not going too far too fast. Yeah. Right, and that right. was kind of oh, thing. It's yeah. like okay, let's not just jump, and we're not still you know doing the whole distributor thing. I mean, in New York, you have to, even if it's one county. But, <laughs> you know, we still, we have our own distribution, so that really helps. Right. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. But we're all over New Jersey. We're from everywhere from way up north in Sussex and Bergen County, right on down to Cape May County in New Jersey. Nice. So, awesome. Yeah. And, and cans and, and tap. Cans and, and kegs. Yep. Awesome. That's correct. Awesome, man. And we'll see uh, the last. You had uh, Blueberry, the Wit, the White IPA, and the? And the last one was our Grzyski, our Polish smoked weed ale. Bro. Terrific. I'm not really, gonna. That was. I'm not gonna, gonna fuck like around. <laughs> that was the f- first beer you had. I had yeah. coming down, and yeah. I was just like, it, we, and we're, you know, we're from New York, and we have one brewer that we've actually found that does that style beer. Yeah. Yep. And he actually smokes all his malts in the back of the brewery. And That's incredible. Fucking, yeah. And and it's. How it's like do a, it? only like a once a year he thing has, too. He, yes, yeah. he, he has a he has a uh, upright smoker, yeah. and he uses apple wood, and he puts and and he's only doing uh, three barrels. Yeah. Oh, when yeah. he makes that, okay, he only yeah. does three barrels, so it's not a great amount of 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 uh, mold, Liquid. but <laughs> but it's it, still fun to do, bro. And when uh, you know, hit, I love that beer. When I had that today, it was, you know, most people. It's you I, have to like that style. A lot of people, as soon as you say smoke, oh yeah, you don't have mm. to tell them it, it could be very subdued. I mean, a lot of people, their mind goes to 
I lay scotch. Yeah. Uh, Whether like it's scotch, peach, scotch, peach. Peach. I would have thought yeah, like a lot of scotch. people also go like <laughs> like barbecue. Like does it taste or, like yeah, or they think that yeah. this one is very interesting. When we're brewing it, the brew house smells like kielbasa. I was just ah, gonna fucking yeah. say that. <laughs> I was just g- and that sounds awesome. And, and, and we're like, oh, oh my God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Bro, it's apropos. It's a yeah. fucking Polish-style beer. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's like, it's, well, it just goes right right into, you know, right in the same vein. I, I do it's, have it's to say, go bango. I've had several different versions of this style. And, again, you don't find this style really. Many breweries won't no. do it because they find that people don't want to drink it because yeah. they don't know about it. Yeah. This was, it was just enough. Uh, it wasn't a lot in the nose. But when you tasted it, you the got cane, that yeah. nice, smoky, yeah. almost, like you say, sausage yeah. style. And it's over beechwood uh, smoke oh, is, is, how we, is how they do it. So, so um, it, it's, it's, it's enough that's there, but it doesn't overpower you. And then we also shipped in the hops for it. Uh, I think it's Lubelski hops huh. from Poland. Bro. Cool. So kind of you guys going, did the right thing, extra man. Mile is, you really did. It. Yeah. For a guy and named Pominski, <laughs> you, fucking, <laughs> you hit all the notes. You, so you like it. You got <laughs> You fucking hit all the notes for me, man. <laughs> and do you guys smoke them all yourself, or is that or, or no, do you have we like actually, a mall house we, that's been, yeah, yeah, we had a mall house that actually did it for us. Fair um, enough. Which was really fun. If I could, I would. Uh, the only time I really got to smoke anything in the brewing industry was. Uh, before I was here, I was at Oscar Blues. Oh, oh and okay. we did. Oh, we what, is that a little brewery? Uh, the, the, they're they're up and coming. Little guy, little yeah, little, little guy in Colorado <laughs> somewhere. He's a yeah. Little. <laughs> um, when I was there, we got to do a, a one-off doing a. And I was actually down in the North Carolina location. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah, and uh, we oh, did, so that's recent. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Um, we did a smoked persimmon ale. Oh. And wow. one of the guys had had a farm, a family farm. And he had all these wild persimmons that were growing. I was like, well, what if we do an ale and, like, and smoke that? And we use beech wood again. And we smoked And you were like, like, how high are we going to get from this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell no Is one. That <laughs> <laughs> and not see anything because we're so fucking baked. Yeah. You might get that high. Yeah. <laughs> Blow, blow. <laughs> Bro, that was perfect. Well done. <laughs> and I don't know. I think Nick needs to go to bed tonight. Nicky, yeah. Nicky yeah. Just needs to sleep. You, you know, when when your producers passes out in the chair, <laughs> he's had a good night. Fucking, it's been all right. You know, it's been a good night, Bro. Yeah. He's got twelve hours of doing it all over again yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now, now. Was this one of your styles that you decided you're like, man, I want to really do this? The Grzeszki. Yes. Yeah. That actually came from from our our head brewer, um, Bob, who, who he, he comes from uh, Wallington, New Jersey. That's where he grew up and has a very high uh, Polish um, concentration that's mm. been there forever. And his father was from the old country cool. and all that. Oh, well, right. So that's why we call it the Thad- name. Thaddeus Pivo. Yes, yes. Of course, Pivo means I remember. You know, I remember the conversation I had with maybe you. Or yeah, yeah, I think it was actually. Um, Thaddeus is his father's name or was his father's oh, name. Oh, that's cool. So That's cool. That's why he uh, we, we named it that. It was kind of a, like, it was, or it is a trip. An homage to, to an homage to yeah, man. yeah, to his father. That's awesome. That uh, cool. And again, that was that style. Really, I have not seen it, and but you guys just pulled it off so fucking well. Yeah. And I've I've actually had bad versions of it. Which I have is, too. And it's it, it's it's one of those things you really like. You want to try. You want to try everybody. Yep, yep. But when you've had a bad one. It's like it really. I really don't want to have another one. No, yet. yeah, it puts you off. Like, wow, that was the most smoke. I'm tasting it tomorrow. It's so smoky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where it's it's just so over the top. Oh, you burp it up later. Oh, like, it's yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. 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 It really is just You're like oh, so bad. Son of a bitch. But yeah, no. <laughs> now, Spear won't leave. Do you, do you do you guys produce that often or? Uh? No, uh, that's actually this is the only the second run we've done of it. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. So, so you could probably you could get it in the tasting room. Yeah, it's in the tap room right now. Um, and really, it was kind of a tap room only. Oh wow! And this time, we're sending some out to to distro, but being a bit selective on where we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you you definitely can't put it out of Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. TGI think Fridays is not. not selling this beer. <laughs> no, probably not. When I think of breasts, I think of smoke. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, smoke show. Sure. Perhaps. Yeah. You want to be the, the hip new kid in the block, huh? I, uh, I, so what I've had the wit and the uh, the white IPA delicious spot on. What else in the tasting room really stands out at this point? 
Uh, there's, there's a few of them. Our Saison, our summer place Saison, has really been taken off. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you'll like this next tidbit. Um, I think it's the end of the month, early July, probably sometime around there. We're actually going to be releasing uh, the bottled version, which was in... We aged in Kendall Jackson's Chardonnay barrel. Jesus. Oh, nice. Since January. Now we're talking. Damn we go. Skippy. And even the, the Saison that's on tap right now, we let condition for another two and a half, three months in the kegs before we put it on tap. So all the, that, that, that nice, you know, those, those Funky, nuances. Kind of. That, that kind of farmhouse and funk that's yes. there. But it's not over the top. It's still... That rattling. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like all hey, thanks for pushing that bucket. <laughs> no right. problem, pal. Yeah, everyone's bouncing no, out of here. That saisons are. That's one of my favorite I styles. That like that yeah. funky kind of farmhouse. Yeah. Like and trying to get a little weird with it. Um, yeah. I do like doing Belgians because I think it, it's a gateway beer when people think, oh, Belgian. That's, that's too. Ooh, that's too much. No, 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 no. There that's are so exactly many right ways. Out. And usually people come in. And they'll say, well, I'm a wine drinker. I'm a, Try I got this. something right yeah, for you, man. And like, yeah, man. Ooh, Have I a strong that. Al. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, we had a we had one. Um, What's well, off now? But it was a Belgian uh, double or dark ale, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, we call it Abbey something. Like, yeah. What the hell? Are we gonna, like, everyone's like, what Abbey something? Like, Won't you ever see Young Frankenstein? Abbey yeah. normal. Ab- Abbey normal. Abbey something. Abbey normal. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's where it went. Um, right. But that was one where people were like, wow. I didn't know a beer could taste like fig yeah. and yeah. Like plum and dark Isn't fruit. Isn't it sort of like a Grimbergen kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it has, you know, this, this like dark bread like character to Isn't it. Isn't that like, awesome yeah. when you can actually get somebody where they're like, no, 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 I don't, I don't like that. You're so adamant And then you yeah. give it to them and they're like, wait, I didn't know it could taste like that. Yeah, because you don't fucking try things, people. <laughs> that's yeah. that's when, what when we, we started give you to you. get so stuck when in your lane. When we started doing the show, I'm like, that. I don't like IPAs. And really? then I had, yeah. you know, I... Got, and, now you're a haze, I'm like, and now you're I a fucking haze like boy. IPAs. Haze boy all day. <laughs> the haze boy. You're a haze guy? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> well, 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 well no, no, no. he's yeah. really the Belgian guy. Yeah, he's the Belgian guy. Yeah, yeah. Belgian yeah. guy all day. I, I fucked him up this past weekend. He, he, oh. I, he stopped oh. over and we drank like, I don't know, two quads and a fucking triple. Oh, I, I was getting text stopped over at St. Bernardus earlier. I promise I'll be home in five minutes. Oh, yeah. It was great. He's like, I'm just dropping shit off, and I'm like, oh, by no, the way, number three. I got this. I got <laughs> this. Try one of these. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. And what was fucked up? You left, and then I had another friend come over, and I drank three other quads, and I'm oh like, and now I'm done. Yeah. 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 And I, Sleep in the bushes, time. I was in the bushes. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. in the bushes. You're like, oh, this is all over. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, as much he was a haze boy. He loves the triples yeah, and Belgians it's, it's, and the saisons. Oh, the saisons. Yeah. Yeah, it's an odd mix. It's I don't, yeah, German, Belgian and German styles, and then so you like, like the, the European, sloppiest yeah. haze boys. <laughs> That's you know, it's weird. I have a friend who uh, his fiance lives in Paris, and every time he goes to visit her. He's like, that's the only American beer that anybody wants now. Is yeah, get the give fuck me the, out Give me the hazies. Give me the hazy beer. Yeah. Like, that's so sad. And like, he, like, yeah. like, wait, you guys got <laughs> so sad. You got Antion for, you know, yeah. five euro. Yeah. Oh, no, they've had but, that already. But you, but you want, you know... Julius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Julius, yeah. It's like, Treehouse and Trillium all day. Course, yeah, that's what everybody yeah, wants. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with no, that. No, I, I love that shit. Yeah. But like, it, oh, it's... Oh, we have the other have half. recommended. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, I've got the other half, or I've got, you know, the Alchemist or yeah. something like that. Oh. Which is... And they're all great breweries. Yes, yes. But it's such an odd thing that so that's where like, they that's gravitate the export. towards. Yeah, yeah that that's the one they want. And we yeah. were speaking about this early. His someone West Coast, which is, he said, like, in certain areas, they're like, oh, give me the hops. They want more of a West Coast guy. They want the Pliny the Elder and the and the Dude, younger that's one of my and favorite bro, Green Flash. You you fucking guys, I hate you guys because you're right here and you could go to <laughs> Philly, you could go to Monks, yeah. and you could drink all the Pliny the fucking Elder you guys want. I don't know how many times a week I'm like, we should plan like a, a business trip yes, 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 yes. and go check out Monks because it would be educational. Yes. We're also going to need a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It can be yeah. right off the Uber that because we were looking for. The crazy well. thing about monks. I didn't know about the, the Pliny thing here until recently oh, because I just moved back. They're the only forward. ones. Yeah. And they actually had younger. Yeah. They had younger and oh, I was on the on the whole thing this, for younger for This a was while. the craziest part for me. The very first time I went to monks. So I go in and you know, all my buddies are like and this is like seven years ago. 
and like, no, ma, you gotta go. You could get Cantillon. You yeah. just you gotta yeah. buy a few things first. Yeah. And and I went in and I go, hey, you have uh, Fafon from yeah. Cantillon. Oh, we gotta look for it. Is there anything else you want? I'm like, all right, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, you got fucking uh, oh, what, what was it? Um, tenth rail from uh, Iowa. No, no, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's whatever. Random. Right. So. I buy a couple of things, and then all of a sudden, oh, he's oh what do you, you know? know? We we had a little boy searching down there. So, and we finally found yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, found him in the crawl space. <laughs> so, oh, here it is. And he but does then, have hepatitis. But then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've exactly. got Fofon. <laughs> uh, but but then I don't even fucking realize because I'm already like I got to get this Cantillon. Yeah. And then I finally look at the menu, and on tap is Pliny the Elder on tap, and I'm like. Oh, who? How did who this? Yes. You pieces yeah. of shit! <laughs> and of course, I had to get a pint of after I drank the Cantillon, yeah. which just totally destroyed just my ruined palate. Everything, but yeah. you still did it. Oh, oh I had wow. to. I, I had to. <laughs> I lived in uh, San Diego for a while. Somewhere oh, Lost Abbey. I'm sorry, uh, Lost Abbey. Lost Abbey. Yeah, I know. Ah, yeah. There, you go. Um, there was a place uh, in South Park. is a small neighborhood over there. Oh yeah. And uh, Hamilton's. And this this bar, you would never. You walk past it; it was all blacked out. You think it was closed for years. You open this huge black wooden door, and the place just erupts. And then there's always great beer on tap. I mean, the place is always packed. I love that man. But they always had for five dollars a pint, Pliny. Holy! Uh, and I was like, this is my place. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is where I drink now. Yeah, I like, this is where. It and happens. this is where I pass out. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and it was just man. night after night. And then before I was at Oscar, I was at uh, at Ballast Point. Um, you so you started out with a whole bunch brewery. of yeah. Well, before no that, name, they were much smaller. There's yeah. no name breweries. You just I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I had I buddies who that. That, that we all must look, we figured out like we almost have sat next to each other countless times at Hamilton's and these other places. Because we all had the same story. That's like, awesome, man. <laughs> exactly. That is awesome. You know, it's funny, uh, and because the, the beer, com- beer community is like really, you'll find you it's been, huge. Yeah, it's so small. It's, exactly, it's yeah. so big, but it's so small. And the people you know, and like, hey, uh, ba ba ba. Wait, who? Oh, he's my brother-in-law. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I hang out with him and all the time. It's oh, the yeah. crazy shit. And yeah. like you said, you'll be in places, and you. Uh, I and it, here's uh, one of the funny ones because I'm looking at your hat, your BSG hat, and I'm oh, like, yeah. all right, that's either GABF or that's CBC. You got that fucking from one of those places. Oh no, I got this in the mail last week. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the other ones have sweat all over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sweat stains out there. Yeah, it just all right, all right, all my so, Crosby ones so we know where they're getting all their right. fucking grains from. <laughs> 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 he's buying so much fucking grain from them, and he's getting those nut rolls. No, which, nut so many nut rolls. I actually have to hide the nut rolls from bro. the team. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> we do actually fight fight I make the, yeah, the head many, brewer, Bob, he has up in a like, little cabinet. Do you know like, how many... These. And you can how ration them fights? out. How many fights we've had in the brewery over the nut you rolls? You have to joust for it's the nut It's pretty fucking roll. stupid because you can just go down to Tractor Supply right. and <laughs> buy the whole box for $5. Yeah. But we, no, I'm going to trip over my balls to make sure that I get the one at the bottom of the, the pallet. Yes, yeah. in the fucking, in the hole. Yeah. In the hole yeah. of the pallet. Yeah. Somebody's, Your fucking feet yeah. are hanging Somebody out. Somebody slide them down it. there. Get them out. <laughs> I used to take them and put them in the freezer yeah. and it was like, we didn't get nut rolls. I'm like, I don't fucking know yeah. what nut oh, rolls. I'll do that. Are. And then they pop one out of the freezer, and being like, <laughs> yeah, it's the nut roll. You fucking, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You could have just looked in the freezer, you assholes. Yeah, they caught me actually this past week. They're like, what you I'm like, oh, I'm just making sure all you know, all the grain came out. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I'm checking where we got 48 on that one. Okay, we got the cut the oh, cellophane there's down. There's my three. Move a few. Yeah. There's my three. <laughs> Those are my three. This you guys fight diem. over the one. Yeah. No one gets their hands on my per diem, <laughs> bro. It's funny. Now, everybody be good and you'll get one. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing exactly. is, like, what, what Wrangler? Yeah. He posts that shit all the time. Oh, yeah. oh my rolls. God. Everyone's killing that people. That's just for like, it. yeah. That, that pot, or not podcast, but uh, that, what's it? Page. Instagram account, page, yeah. account, account, probably the best word. Like, I mean, he, he posts some funny shit. Bro. Oh, yeah. We, we've like, had if him you're on, in the industry where yeah, we it's had like, him on the show. Shit, if we had him, back. Yeah, we had him on the show and we talked about a bunch of that shit. Oh. Yeah. And, and yeah, he's, you know, he, he works for Brewery and, yeah. and he, yeah. but yeah. Um, he's a, a lot comedian of this, too. A lot he's a stand up. Does it? Yeah. yeah. That would yeah. make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them, like, 
this guy needs to get a new job. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. No. <laughs> but, but a lot of guys send him content because it's just shit that we all do. We've had people do all that. All the like, time, so man. So-and-so, somebody's like, oh, you know, whoever in the back sent something. We got tagged in whatever. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and they're like, so-and-so must have sent whatever screw-up happened. Uh, yeah, oh, the Wrangler. I'm like, oh, yeah. Can somebody run the, the screw up by me? <laughs> just so I know you throw which it to one it is. At it or <laughs> like, be angry at it. Normally I don't care, but. <laughs> Wait, I just want to know. Yeah. I want to be in the loop. If you send it, just give me a heads up so I know. It's just <laughs> yeast poop. It's always yeast poop. It's always uh, yeast it's poop. Yeah. Well, you know, I find myself doing that. And I'm like, oh, look at poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that. No, no, this. Uh, for me, up, for me so. as a brewer, there is nothing as I watch a horrifying video of somebody fucking dry hopping a tank. Oh, I have and, one for you. I have you, one of me I can give you. Bro, uh, it is just... <laughs> uh, dry one hopping of my, a 200-barrel tank. Oh. My, one, of my, one of my buddies, Johnny okay. Gomez, I love the man, uh, th- we have this video of him just on, on top of the ladder. Yeah. And it's just... It's just coming down yeah. on him. Oh, yeah. I and he just you. holding on to the ladder because if he lets go, he's going down. Yeah, he's done. And it's just... You just nu- nucleation, bro. Nucleation. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta strap in and embrace the suck. But here's the, here's the worst part, though. It's a little cold. When you're doing that, when you're doing that, and you actually can look in the tank and you see it coming at you, oh, you're that's like, the worst. Jesus, how can I get this fucking cat back on as we'll fast as I can? Up. When it happened to me, I was actually training a guy, <laughs> and we were on a scissor but lift. Of course oh, you were. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But mm. on. Yeah, it was a 200 barrel tank, and we're going up Jeez. on the scissor. Oh, fuck. And halfway up, I realized this guy's scared shitless of heights. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, "Are you all right, man? Are you all right?" Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And he's like, he, white he's knuckling. white knuckling it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. So we get up this there, and I'm explaining well. everything. We get it all opened up. I'm like, "All right, so you want to put X amount in? Keep an eye on it. You can actually smell the CO2 coming yeah, back man. if it gets too much. Yep. You give it, a, give it a rest." Yep. Like if you start seeing, you know, pellets shoot back at you, <laughs> it's time you to might fucking have a problem. It's time As to fucking I'm saying beat this, feet. I'm like looking back at him, look, and I'm still pouring in, and I. I'm like, Here we go, brother. I'm like, this is it. And he's like, on. cap it. What? What? What's it? I'm like, <laughs> what's it? I'm like, here it comes. Here it comes, bro. It comes walking out. Oh, and no. I hadn't had that happen to me ever on that size tank. So it was my first time, but I had had it happen previously. So it was like, all right, you know. Kind of know what to expect, yeah. but. And I turn back, and it, the whole thing is on video. So everybody, that's awesome. as that's soon awesome. as they could hear it happening, everyone stopped like. The guy, I was in the cellar. Let me get my camera. All the <laughs> brewers came down. All the cellar guys came rushing out of the other cellar. They're like, here, here we go. Here we go, kids. Hang <laughs> yeah, on. I had to walk into HR and I was and like, is there any chance that I can get a new shirt? <laughs> you guys should also start carrying pants. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you forget the uh, Oscar Blues pants, sweatpants? I need that, and, it's, and the slippers now too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt, I want I want you to go through the uh, the big plugs for the brewery. Give us uh, the, the social media where people can find you, how things sure. can go through. Um, on social media, I mean, the only one I really can rattle up really it's Tom's Over Brewing or Tom's Over Beer uh, on Instagram, which is the same for for Facebook. I know okay. we're on Twitter as well. I don't do the tweeting thing. Yeah, yeah. But I know we're on there. Um, yeah, we're again, Tom's River, New Jersey, Route 37 West. 37, not 17. Route, ah, yeah. no, I know, no, no. I gotta remember that. Uh, Route, Route, Route 37. Taste, tasting room hours. Oh. Uh, tasting room hours. So we are closed Monday and Tuesday, but on Wednesday, we're open. Wednesday to Wednesday and Thursday is 3 to 9. Uh, Friday and Saturday is 12, or excuse me, you know. I'm fucking myself up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause we just changed hours a little bit. Uh, yeah, everybody, bro. Yeah, everybody yeah, doing somewhere else. Yeah. So Same it thing. is three to nine on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, Saturday is uh, twelve to ten, and then Sunday is twelve to six. Cool. Go. Cool. Then we have our tap room, um, and then we also have a, a beer garden that we put in last year as well. Oh, sweet. Ooh, so nice. come get to go beer. Come hang out. Nice. Um, we got food trucks. We have uh, live music. You know, most uh, most of the beers on tap are available to go. Uh, most of them are. Now, there are taproom exclusives, um, but a lot of them, they are. They just, sometimes they just sell out. So, I'm trying to, trying to get that, you know, 
Yeah. That's a good thing, somebody. brother. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say, that's a good, that, thing, a good problem to have. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we have uh, 16 beers on tap at all times. Oh, wow. hey. That's yeah, what we like we, do, we have the range from, you know, from an Irish red to, oh, to the Peter. Belgians to we, we do the double dry hopped. Uh, Hayes Boys. You know, Hayes Boys. Mm. Um, all the things. We've, all the treats. <laughs> yeah. We've got, we just did one uh, Hoppin' Jack Flash. <laughs> there you go. I am a huge Rolling Stones fan. Oh, yeah. and we used Charlie uh, Watts just had a birthday the other day. He did. Okay. He did indeed. Um, that one we did uh, exclusively Motueka and oh. uh, and uh, Nelson Savine. Nice. What the hell you say? You know, everyone yeah, says Savine, Savine, and then you got Motuka, Mandine. Yeah, like, you, Mo- know what, you know what I'm saying. Motuika, <laughs> Motuika, yeah, Motowaka. All of a sudden, everyone's from New Zealand. Yes. Mo- oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's an Islander. Twerking. And by the way. <laughs> Well, By the way, it's <laughs> Moto Waka. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, I didn't mean to do a say without my shells on. That's yes, not yes. my fault. Oh. Your pookie shells. Yes. We keep doing this. We're going to watch Moana. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's how you got to say it. You I just watched exactly. I am Moana for Moto Waka. <laughs> yeah, he's a local. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he might blend in. He's the first Polish Hawaiian that we yeah, have we got <laughs> on the show. We are for everything. It's 2021, man. That's, that's right. it. <laughs> All inclusive out here in the world. Matt, really appreciate you stopping by. We're going to be hanging out. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Uh, unfortunately, I won't be. Oh, here tomorrow. Balls. Yeah. all right. If I can well, we'll, we'll enjoy your beers though tomorrow. Yes, for sure. Do. We will be drinking, without a doubt. Yes, those beers, yeah. especially that wit. Man. Yeah, that wit's yeah. delicious. Uh, so we're Mike, Pete, and Steve again. Tom's River Brewing. Check it out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, this wraps up Friday night. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah. It's a uh, good night to to close it out it's late, and uh, we're going to be right back at it tomorrow morning, somewhere around the twelve o'clock hour, and we'll uh, go kill it out here as best we can. So I like it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Do Appreciate it, it yeah. Matt. Thanks for having me. Matt, yeah, thank Matt. you so much, brother. Mike, Pete, and Steve. GovsRadio.com. Tonight, though, we out. Govs Radio. <laughs> this is The Wirt on Govs Radio. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, The Wirt with Mike, Pete, Steve, GovsRadio.com. We're here live at AC Beer Fest. We are at Bader Field. Beautiful day coming up today. Session number two and number three back to back. It's going to get crazy, folks. So, uh, come check back here on Instagram. We'll be broadcasting on and off all day. We got a lot of brewers uh, as guests planned to come on. Hopefully, we get some other people there. We might uh, go try to talk to Kelsey Grammer and uh, some musical artists that are here. So, stick around. Uh, we'll be doing this all day, man. We're with Mike Pete and Steve GovsRadio.com. We'll be right back. Hi, right, it's the word with Mike Pete and Steve GovsRadio.com. We're here post uh, first session. Ready for the second session, going around and talking to people about their experience yesterday. Gentlemen, who are you and what do you guys do? And then tell us a little about your experience. You got to get up there tight. I'm Mike Kearns. I am the field marketing specialist for uh, Artisanal Brewing Ventures with Victory Brewing Company, Southern Tier, Six Point, uh, and our Bold Rock Cidery. Nice. Uh, and then John? John Morris, New Jersey sales manager uh, for Six Point. Uh, and work along with Victory, Bold Rock, Southern Tier. Just cruising. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Crushing beers. Nice. How'd, you guys, uh, how'd you guys fare yesterday? How'd it go? Pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I saw some very interesting folks. Okay. Uh, and I feel like people really had a great time. Kind of came out. Good. Who was the most interesting person yesterday? Yeah. And why? <laughs> I want to say the woman that came up at the very end who offered to flash us to pour something right after final or uh, after last call. Welcome was, to Beer uh, Fest. That was definitely. That was me with the wig on. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you know, I thought I, I knew it. you too. <laughs> I, I kept offering. No one took me up on it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the thing was, Such I could shame. see his nipples through his shirt. And I just. <laughs> wasted opportunity. Wasted. So wasted. wasted. It's so bad. So uh, how, how do you guys think the first session went? What uh, other than some other than the most the most interesting that person? incident? I'm gonna leave that one right where it is, <laughs> given the state of the industry these days. <laughs> I got to see a nice three year relationship end from a drunken gentleman, but then get back together. It was magic. That's a, that's a better twenty story. minutes. Uh, that's a great story. One one lap around, everyone cooled out. <laughs> Not sure. Is it? We beer it. fest love. It's <laughs> all about beer yeah. fest love. The highs and the lows. Yeah, yeah. The highs what do you, and the lows what do you, of you think the biggest fest. challenge is for today with the heat and people you know, walking around 3,000 miles or wherever you have to do to get there? I just say staying hydrated, making yeah. sure that people are drinking a lot of water, making sure that there's some intermission waters in there, hitting a couple tents, getting a water, sitting down. Um, that's one thing that I worry about is you know, heat plus alcohol is sometimes just not a great combo. So <laughs> making sure that folks are smart and take care of themselves and also having fun yeah. and eating. I would take the exact opposite approach. <laughs> uh, Go. I find, Sloppy drunk in an hour. <laughs> I find Pilsners to be incredibly hydrated. Yes. Out of last night. You need a nice Terrific. little base. Yeah. You got to go in strong. You yep. can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. It's all you about gotta, the foundation. You, you take that crispy all about boy the base. foundation. Crispy boys. For, for the Haze boys later, right? 
that's all we're about. We're that's just a, we're just a group of crispy boys trying to spread the love. Trying to <laughs> trying to make sure we don't fill up on all the resin yeah. as soon as and, possible. You know, loose hips. Yeah. We're crispy boys with loose hips. We're ready to go. Rock and roll. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mike and John. This is the world with Mike, Pete, and Steve. GovsRadio.com. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> This is the word of Mike Pete and Steve, GovsRadio.com. We are here post-session one, pre-session two, to talk to some people about how their experience went yesterday. How are you? Who are you? And uh, what do you do? Hi there. I am uh, Jason. I'm one of the three partners of uh, Cypress Brewing Company in Edison. Edison. And it's right over the bridge, right? When you uh, come over by the convention center over there? Yep. Uh, we're in Heller Industrial Park, uh, right over the bridge. You're going to take exit one, and that's us. So how did you nice. feel like it fared yesterday? How'd it go here at the session one? Uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised, other than a little bit of monsoon at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everything went pretty well. I was uh, shocked at how many people showed up. I was expecting a much uh, smaller turnout, especially considering how big the area is, yeah. how spread out the tents are. Uh, we had a good crowd all day. We had a good crowd in the evening. Uh, it was steady. You have prime location because the venue where the music is going on is literally right over there. So in between everyone at the concert, they're literally just coming to the first place that can come. You guys got perfect spot right here. Yeah, thank you, John Henderson. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> prime real estate, love it. Yeah. Uh, what did you? Uh, what, what What are you expecting to happen this upcoming uh, session? Session two, session three. Well, uh, I'm a huge Lesson Jake fan, so as oh, soon as yeah. LTJ comes on, yeah, look at Th that thoughts, thoughts, thoughts on Mike Sash. Excellent. Yes, as soon yeah. as LTJ comes on, yeah. I will be at the stage. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm hoping that the second session turns out pretty good too. I heard they still got some tickets available. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, there's only a few though. It's not many. It's yep. gonna be great. Face to face also. Yeah, great good band. band. I I'm actually excited. just started checking them out a couple of days ago when I saw their really, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, they, they go back good. just as far. I mean, it was in that same category with even early November from yesterday. Yep. That drive-through records uh, crowd and yeah, I'm a, actually I'm a big through. drive through I yeah. grew up listening to something corporate, uh, oh, Jack's Mannequin, uh, uh, yeah, Newfound Glory. Uh, so yeah, yeah, big drive-through guy. How disappointed were you when they found out Goldfinger was going to be able to play? Oh, I, I was really upset about that, but yeah. I've seen them live so many times. Yeah, that, you I'd, know, I'd, I'd rather see LTJ. I've only seen them once, and it was like 20 years really? ago. Really? So, yep. Shit. I see now. I've, I'm the opposite. I've only seen Goldfinger maybe twice. I've seen Lesson Jake 30 plus times easily they used to do starland all the time yeah exactly yeah. we go down there all the time um so what uh what are you guys pouring today really quick what uh, do you guys let's see we got the colossal lime that's a four percent kettle sour conditioned on limes yep uh citranity that is a ten and a half percent triple west coast ipa Ooh, yep. oh boy uh, we got the conspiracy theorist that's a 13 percent imperial stout perfect okay. on a hot day <laughs> and uh baby yeah good. that's a six and a half percent new england ipa conditioned yep. on pineapple puree nice oh, wow man all of that sounds big just beers. Sound yeah. phenomenal, <laughs> especially the ones in over ten range. Yeah. Uh, well, I uh, I hope for sure today is without a doubt one of the best days that they've had at this field and and previous conventions. We're outdoors. You guys have done these before. Yep. Um, what's the biggest change that you've seen this year besides um, being out here? I, I was gonna say yeah. like, the, the spacing between the tents. To be honest with you, like we're so used to being packed together, yep. Yep. we're so used to the guests being on top of each other. I, I actually think I prefer this because there's plenty of room for everybody to spread out, have a nice time. Yeah. yeah. And if you can see, you got a nice little setup. You got yeah, your yeah. umbrella. Yeah, umbrella. Nice. It's like your relaxing. Canopy, so everything it's beautiful. Well. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Cheers, I appreciate guys. it. We'll yes, be back here thank to drink. You. This Thanks is the work with Mike, Pete, and Steve, GovsRadio.com. We'll be right back. Uh, this is the work with Mike, Pete, and Steve, GovsRadio.com. We are here with Kelsey Grammer uh, for Faith American Brewing Company. Kelsey, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. This is Pete and Steve. They're going to be asking you some questions about the brewery. Steve's an ex-brewer, so uh, he's got some really good questions for you. And I uh, want to really start off by asking, how did you get into this? Why? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you know what? Take, to it. Okay, take, take, take the mic. Take the mic. I'm taking the mic. Pete, Pete the mic. added his one too. Taking the mic. Yeah. I, I bought some land in upstate New York about 25 years ago. It's a place where I uh, used to spend Thanksgivings when I was a kid, and I looked in the back of a newspaper years ago and and thought, you know, I'm going to fly up there and take a look at this piece of land that they were advertising, and I fell in love with it, and I bought it almost on the spot, and uh, I've had it ever since, and. A few years later, I, there was a piece of land, of, of contiguous land, that was uh, an old dairy farm. And I thought, boy, it, it used to be such a splendid place, you know, like rich in commerce and prosperity. And I thought, what can I do to help out the land again? What can we do here to bring some, some energy back to it that way? And uh, the barn is 100 yards long. There's a picture of it there at Faith America. It looks beautiful. And uh, I thought, let's try beer. Because <laughs> it wasn't because I was a beer guy. I mean, I was never like sort of a beer, a beer geek. I was just, uh, I always just 
drank a long neck bud when I was a kid. You <laughs> yeah. know, it's like, uh, <laughs> but there was nothing better <laughs> when I, on a cold day after I was done demolition work, which is what I used to do when I was a kid, wow. uh, I'd just pull one of those out of the cooler and, uh, that was the sensation. That to me is what beer really is, you know. And even though you know people have gotten a little more focused on this hop here and that hop there and this kind of tone and that kind of character and this color and all that crap <laughs> <laughs> and all the fruits and all the caramels and all the shit that's going on, uh, I thought I'd like to just make a great drinkable beer again. And I, I like IPAs, but I'm not crazy about them because a lot of them taste like you know turpentine. Yeah. A, and, uh, definitely a quiet yeah. taste that's to a it. hot new adjunct. And right? uh, I'm going, yeah, <laughs> turpentine. <laughs> right, yeah. That's all. Peel the, peel the paint brewery. Right. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, I'm going to just make drinkable beer. And so I just started with these two. I've got an IPA and a, and a, a, a blonde ale, nice. Faith American Ale. It's named after my daughter. Her name is Faith. Oh, okay. our, our, their context being that we love America, Faith America. We love our children. We love God. We got a whole bunch of things going on in our heads. And, and it's... Uh, and it's all about trying to make the land kind of prosper again. Now, and when, so that's when did what you we've guys been doing. Open? Uh, we technically opened about two years ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, five years ago is when it's all sort of sort of take seed, you know, in terms yeah. of what I had in my head. Uh, the picture on the can is of me and my daughter Faith walking a field up at the top of our property. Yeah, and uh, that's that's the the genesis of it. It's all about the land there. It's all about what we experience there as a family, what we believe in as a, as a family as well, and the kind of product we want to do. And it's it's to lift people up and make people feel wonderful and, and love the, the the life that we're having as Americans and and have a good beer. Yeah, there you go. So. Uh, let's give uh, the big plug. Where can people find it? Where's the location? Uh, well, we just opened New Jersey. That's why we're here. Yeah. Uh, we we up, up in the northern area. We're with uh, high grade and uh, for distributors, and we have uh, Black River Traders down here in the southern end of oh, the, nice. the okay. state, and uh, uh, we'll be everywhere. <laughs> nice. That's that's what I'm you know that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, we upped production. We started you know. Uh, Two years ago, and, and then hit the wall of uh, the COVID thing, and then, you know, sort of. So it just wasn't making a lot of sense to try to go sell beer at that time. So we just kind of went quiet. I developed the IPA at that point, and then uh, so that's what we got. We got the we got the blonde ale. We got the uh, the IPA for now. We're gonna add a couple of stuff, a couple other beers this year. But I don't want to do a ton of beers. I I'm not a big flavor this flavor that guy. Yeah. I like I like beer. Yeah. And so I want to sell beer, beer that beer tastes flavor, like beer. Beer, beer, beer that flavor, flavor beer. exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're aiming for. And uh, this, 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 uh, the American Ale is is a great summer beer, and uh, it's great with food. And the IPA is actually really drinkable. So I'm, I'm hoping people just enjoy it with yeah. their summer. You know, it's about celebrating being alive, honestly, and having a good beer at the end of the day. And, and the reception. There yeah, you go. We're good. back on track. The reception's yeah. been very good. We've heard some great things. You get a lot of yeah, people thanks. coming through. No, you know, you know what usually happens? People come up and they taste beer because it's my beer, right? You know, it's Kelsey. And then they'll say, oh, oh it's good beer. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> so, expect that. And that's, that's the payoff. That's awesome. Because yeah, I wouldn't actually make a beer that didn't taste good. You want to attach your name or something? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's actually been, it's been a great experiment for me, and it's been a great process. And we're really looking forward to, like, I want to put a... A beer in the hand of every American around. Nice. There you know. you go. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, there you go. That's, that's the slogan. slogan. That's, that's the slogan. slogan. There you yeah. go. That's the slogan. Chicken in every pot, yeah. beer in every American. Well, actually, the slogan we think is America's beer of choice. Oh, but we'll oh, get to that. Okay. <laughs> not taking it, so you got okay, it. Okay, it's not taking it. Take it right now. And oh, let's uh, trademark that immediately, yes. guys. And, uh, no, no, I think I already did. That's <laughs> <laughs> all. So, well, it's a nice idea, but you know, I think we got it. We got it. Right? <laughs> Kelsey, thank you very much for spending some time. Bless you guys. We Thanks so much. This is the world of Mike, Pete, and thank Steve so Gubbsradio.com. Kelsey Grammer, Faith American. Check him out on Instagram, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, thank all that other good stuff. Well, that's two hours of your life that you'll never get back. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Please hang up and try again. This has been the Words on Govs Radio. I hope you're drunk enough.